three pointers. TV. Arsenal one. Manchester City. No, I don't. Excellent, man. Listen, can you believe it's been like eight years now? You know, since we last beat them, you know, back yes. in December 2015. How do you feel? Elated. Uh, about time. Um, we definitely deserved it. Um, Mick Hill's going the right way. He knew which substitutions to make. So, yes. Uh, that Martinelli, I mean, they were a fantastic player for years. But Odegaard, Odegaard, running it as usual. Beautiful. Know, yeah. And uh, the first half was a little bit shaky, wasn't it? It was. It was quite evenly matched. Um, it could have gone either way, couldn't it, really? Yes, that's that's what it was. Um, would you say, you know, David uh, David Real, a little bit? I was a little bit worried about him, to be honest. He was Seemed a like bit confidence slow. Kind of, yeah, yeah, right. Bitter, a lot of the fans careless. were kind of started to give him a little bit of stick yeah, during the yeah, game, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, his distribution's really good normally, but today it was either a little bit fast or a little bit slow. So the right. players are the one ready. And so, uh, how did you feel going into the game without, you know, Kyle Saka? Um, there were a couple of players that were. Yeah. We've got a couple of players think, missing, you know, like not starting Martinelli as well. Yeah. Saka uh, obviously is a massive loss. Massive, yeah. But um, we have got players that have got potential, but yeah. I don't think in the first half we were using short side as much as we should have done. Yeah. There was nothing going down that side of the pitch at all. Yeah. Raya did over that side one. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I know he went off, but I don't know that it was necessarily because he was playing badly, he just yeah. wasn't getting any more time. So, right. but yeah, obviously, not, not having the Sacra Martin, it's always on yeah, the side. Yeah, beautiful. And, and what about the atmosphere today after that? The best. When the, the final best. whistle blew. Oh my god, I nearly got beautiful. trampled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. And yeah, we're going into international break now, but when we come back from the international break, we have to face Chelsea, we have to go to Stafford Bridge on the yeah. 21st of October. How do you see that one going? Oh, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm not worried about them. You think the Arsenal players will be so, like, super confident after, you yeah. know, after this victory? Yeah, because we've had, like you say, players missing the normally first choice, and, yeah. and we managed it fairly well yeah. for the first half. Second half, I never had any worries. I never felt we were gonna lose. Yeah. I just couldn't see where the goal was coming from. Yes, but you could kind of, you could kind of, you could. It's like we were smelling blood, though. Yes, you know, we yeah. could smell it. You know, That's it was coming. Gabriel, Gabriel was fantastic. Too. Fantastic, was really wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. So two, three players could have got man of the match today. Excellent. Um, I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. Cool. Really, I'm so happy. Do you want to say hello to anybody? You want to say a shout out to anybody? Um, my Arsenal family. They, I've got a fantastic group of guys that sit with me every week. They look yeah. after me and yeah. they are Lovely. wonderful. I love them. Oh, and, and you see the ticket holder? Or? I have. Yes, it's 94. Uh, 94? Yeah. Woo! I was, so. only, I was only 13! <laughs> but anyway, but yo, stay there, my man. Um, <laughs> listen, do you want to big up the Free Boys TV? Yeah, definitely. Come on this station. The three pointers TV we are. Three pointers. Make sure you come and watch. And what was your name? Hazel. Big up Hazel on the three pointers TV city. Yes, come on you gunners. Come on peeps. What were you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to the three pointers.